Hello, everyone, and welcome back to First Look, episode 31. And we got a monster extravaganza for you here as we're reviewing some of the Marvel Legends retro series. And I know some of them are spread out and I don't have the list in front of me, but we're going to kind of, with the recent acquisition of the last one from Series 1 that I was looking for, the Human Torch, we're kind of just going to go right to left over the collection I have here and just kind of give you guys a look at these. So what these are are <clears throat> Hasbro's submissions to the small line of Marvel figures. They've been doing the Marvel Legends ever since they took over for Toy Biz. And these are just incredible, especially if you're old school, um, either Secret Wars or Super Powers fans like myself. They brought back the old Kenner logo, which is mostly associated with the superpowers since it was Mattel that did the Secret Wars line. And these are cool. Uh, I know the Silver Surfer is one of the new waves. Human Torch, I think, was the first outside of the two-pack waves. And Invisible Woman, I think, would be in between. So they're kind of bringing you different characters slow burning over the course of the waves. Hopefully this just series continues because they got a lot of cool offerings from different waves so you can see the daredevil wave here that's got everything under the daredevil logo these two have the fantastic four you got the silver surfer here with his own wave so that might include thanos and fire lord and who knows how many other space characters um we got some avengers which is cool in this one U.S. Agent, agent gets his own, which is cool. So I'm going to slide him out. He's in the later wave, Captain America. Now, this is a different card from the two-pack. And I actually like this one a little bit better, as I've seen the two-pack. Uh, and we'll get to one of them, the ones I have over there. Two-packs have the first card logos on them. And I got another set on the wave. As I was about to record this one, uh, I learned about the different kind of variant of the Black Panther because he's got the blue hue and gloves and feet, and I guess the metallic Black Panther is all black, and there's a metallic version of that Iron Man, two different cards. I just kind of got the urge to want to pick that up before that jumped in price, too, and uh, yeah, maybe this will do that for you if you like this enough. I mean, I'm not opening these up, unfortunately. That's not how this works on first look. We're just kind of giving you inbox looks at these, but maybe this will spark a desire to. I know... Uh, I've got a, quite a number of them with Unpunched, which eventually when I'll bag these up, because I'm not sure if I want to open these right now. These cards are just incredible. And uh, just to give you an idea, I'll try to pick one out here. We'll pick the bullseye out. Kind of gives you a card in the back, as well as a brief bio there. So, which is mainly one real sentence in English and other languages on there too. So very cool. It's got the Marvel Legends logo for the retro though in the right hand corner. Cool top of the card stuff like in Black Panther's case all I think he's got three different ones. Um, they all kind of have that jungle look in the metallic ones I have on the way now. Same thing with the Iron Man. It's virtually the same card only kind of blackish with its you know, kind of like the uh, what was it, computer board maybe for him and then the jungle in the background of them. And I'm curious on those cards because I think those cards might actually look better than these two. And I'm just excited for the all black kind of, I don't know how shiny he will be of the Black Panther. Hulk, which is awesome. Just love him in the green. Not really too keen on the gray Hulk. But he does have different art, which is just really cool on these. They don't they don't just give you the green card Hulk with Gray Hulk as a variant. They actually give him his own card completely. Really stoked for this one. Only seen him once in the store. Um, one of my favorites because of the girth and size of him. Even though I'm not too keen on Gray Hulk, kind of seeing him side by side. Very, very cool. Vision really pops on his. Big fan of that one. Uh, one of my favorites, Carol Danvers, who they don't label as Ms. Marvel or Captain Marvel. This is her Ms. Marvel outfit. And I don't know 
what the deal was with this. Maybe because they're going to have another. And actually, I'm guessing they'll have a Ms. Marvel eventually. Uh, I'm just happy that they did the retro version of Carol, or actually my favorite version of her. And they didn't go for the other, like the turtleneck version. They actually went with her iconic version and an awesome, awesome costume here. So just the choices that they've done on these, I think, is incredible. Um, to pull, we'll take a look at Iron Man. He's got the blue one, which I also wasn't too keen on at first. And kind of see them side by side. Very cool. Of course, the classic one. And uh, I want to see the metallic one now. I'm kind of uh, excited at the two packs more. I'm not sure if I'll get the two ones I don't have. Um, let's take a look at the two Spideys. Black one was kind of hard to get. Had to jump on him when he dumped. Some of them dump on the Target app. Not often and not easily. Otherwise, you just have to get lucky in the store. Spidey does have a different card, which I do not have. This one open is still sealed. But it will show you the two cards here. Although, which is weird. As we look at that, it does look like a different card. But I thought when somebody opened it, it was all. Oh, it is different. I think it's blue. With the same kind of little, and I guess he's swinging on that where he's spinning, you know, spinning web position. So it is a little bit different. And as you can see, Electro, he's throwing the bolts in that one, and he's just kind of doing the shock in motion here. So as an Electro fan, that's very cool. He's got two different cards too. So they've really, I think, outdone themselves on this line. Really, as person who just loves the cards, I'm going to take a look at a couple of the villains here above the X Men line. These are the only X Men offerings right now as of current record date. But let's take a look at a couple of the villains. We got Loki. There is no Thor yet, surprisingly. So I have to believe he's coming. And a cool, cool Magneto one. It almost looks like... Looks very much... I'm not sure if that's John Byrne, but it almost looks like uh, a cross between Lee and Kirby's version, but could uh, definitely not them. Uh, looks a lot like Byrne. John Byrne card art, so it's definitely look like looks like Byrne, I believe, and that's just cool that they're using so many different artists for this line. So we'll wrap up this video here with a, this look at the first look at my small uh, Marvel Legends collection. I have a few doubles in a box there. Um, I've been on the fence of whether I I would like to get open them. I just, there's just too many. I can't get both right now. Just not in the greatest position. So right now I'm just going with kind of a inbox collection, like a lot of the stuff I have, and they just look incredible. Um, love this version of Storm. She just looks great. Iceman is actually pretty cool. Not a huge fan of Iceman, and then. Cyclops, who I think he's got a, a different card in the two-pack, which kind of gives me maybe, ah, I don't know. I love that outfit in Cyclops, so never know if I chase after that two-pack version, the one that comes, uh, I want to say if that comes with another Iron Man, but yeah, just uh, very cool. I mean, if you see these in stores that are in Target, Wally. You can get them on Amazon as well, and just uh, it's just a very cool line. When you look at a lot of these figures, they just the cards pop. Actual logos, old school logos, old school costumes, just everything about the line is just like this one is just made for collectors like me. So, just wanted to give you guys a look. Um, please like this video, share, subscribe, comment if you have any comments. Down below, appreciate you guys watching as always, and we'll see you guys next time.